Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB, and in this video, you're going to learn how to check whether your stack has drifted from its expected template configuration in AWS CloudFormation. Let's get into it. Let's start by navigating to the CloudFormation service, then click on Create Stack with New Resources. Here, I'm going to upload a template file called ec2.yaml. In this file, I'm starting with the resources section and defining a resource called web server instance, which is of the type ec2. Attention! Under properties, I'm defining the availability zone, IAM instance profile, image ID, security group IDs, instance type, and tags. Let's finish uploading this file, then click on Next. Give your stack a name, then hit Next. I'm going to leave all these stack options to their default values, then click on Next and review my stack configuration. Click the Submit button, and your stack should now be in Create in Progress status. Give it a few minutes, and your stack status should eventually change to create underscore complete. Head to the resources tab, then click on the physical ID to confirm that your EC2 instance is indeed up and running. Next, navigate to the actions dropdown and choose modify IAM role under the security menu. Here, I'm going to change the Amazon SSM full access role to Amazon SSM managed instance core role, then hit update. Let's navigate back to the cloud formation window and click on detect drift from the stack actions dropdown. Click on view drift results and the drift status for your web server instance should show as modified. Drift detection allows you to detect whether a stack's actual configuration has drifted or changed from its template configuration. Ideally, you only want to change your deployed resources through a cloud formation template. Keep your formation! Now, let's head back to the EC2 dashboard and revert our changes. I'm going to navigate back to the modify IAM role under the Actions dropdown, then switch the IAM role back to Amazon SSM Full Access, then click Update. Next, go back to the CloudFormation window and click on Detect Stack Drift, then hit Refresh. Your drift status should now change to In Sync. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.